Hello, this is Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and today I am going to demonstrate how to make your own box card from one of the box card images that is already in Cricut Design Space. So what I'm going to do is go over to Insert an Image. I am going to search box cards. <coughs> And actually, I bought the digital version of box cards. My computer's being a little slow for some reason, so we'll wait for this to open. Here we go. And you can see that I've purchased the All Occasion box cards, and that's where I'm going to pull up that cartridge. And I'm just going to choose a box card. My husband may be making noise in a minute, and I apologize for that. Let's see here. I think I will pull this one, insert this one in. You can see how small it comes in. And I'm just kind of blowing it up here. Now you see I still have everything completely 100% attached. And I want to keep it all attached and all together so I can get it proportionate. So I'm going to go over to my edit panel. And with everything attached, I can go over to the width, width of my card. And I can change that to 23 inches. And that way, you can do that and still cut the envelope out on a 12 by 12 mat. You can always go much bigger, but you'll have to cut the envelope on a 12 by 24 mat or just delete the envelope and make it yourself on your envelope punch board. And I do it I both ways, depending on how much time I have and if I want to make my own envelope and when I do make my own envelope I forget those measurements so if I find my measurements at the end of this video I'll put those down below for you if you want to do it that way so I've got it now set for 23 inches which is gonna make my card my box card a pretty good size decent size to work with I'm gonna go back over to my layers panel and I'm going to ungroup and now I'm gonna move that envelope completely off the screen so that I don't see it. I'm going to move my little colored tabs that's on my box card kind of off the screen too for a minute and then the box card itself. I'm going to move that over as well. Now, I'm not going to use any of these, any of this bird so I'm going to delete all of that, and that says friend that goes into my cute little tag. I'm not going to use that either. I'm not going to use any of these images. Now, if you see here, I've got a little circle that will cut out, which was the entrance to the birdhouse. I don't want that, so I'm just going to go over here and insert a square real fast. Don't care about the size, because I just want that circle not to cut out so I'm going to slice it out of my image. So I'm going to delete all of those. So there's nothing there now but my little tag that will be proportionate to fit on <coughs> my box card. Now I'm going to get all of those things out of the way and this is the piece I'm going to be working on now. And now I want to decide what kind of card that I'm going to make. And I am going to go over here and insert images. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Winnie the Pooh cartridge. So I'm just going to go over here and search cartridges. I'm going to type in Disney. Find the one that I want and here uh, Disney Pooh and Friends is the one I'm going to use I'm going to open up that cartridge 
I own this cartridge so I can use it and what I'm going to do is I want to I'm going to insert a piglet I also want Tigger I'm going to do Tigger's head and then I want Poo and I'm going to take this Poo with the Honey Pop because I think there's something else I'm going to insert here too and add and I'm pretty sure I saw a little bee I think there's a bee associated with this cartridge there he is right there I'm gonna take that take that bee actually I'm gonna insert a couple of these grass pieces and I'm gonna do the honey pot too so let me insert all of these images so they're all gonna come in So let's get these all, and this grass, I already know that I want um, three of those, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate, duplicate that twice, move my honey pot out of the way. Now, I'm going to move my bee and my honey pot and all my grass up here out of the way because they're not going to go in this intersection of my box card at all. My piglet, poo, and tigger is going to go there. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to put my piglets going to go on this section. I'm going to make my poo here and put my tigger here. Now, the way this should work is my poo is going to be my biggest piece and he's going to be in the very back of the card that shows up at the back. Piglet will be the one that's in the front. You can see I'm just kind of playing with the positioning there of where I want him. And then Tigger's going to be in the middle. Now I'm going to rotate Tigger's head a little bit. I'm going to make Tigger a little bit bigger too. There we go. Yes, that I like. I need to pull Pooh up to there. Okay, now, that is all looking good to me. Now, for just a second, I'm just going to pull my piglet, tigger, and poo up out of the way. I'm going to move my insert down a little bit. Now, I'm going to insert a square. I'm go over here and make my square green because I'm don't have any green that I'm working with here and it's easy for me to to use and now on this strip you can't see it I'm sure you can't but their score lines already included so they're attached which makes this layer this particular image two layers and you cannot slice when you have two layers showing because when I would bring over my square to slice it's now three layers and not two. So what I need to do is I'm going to highlight or select my inner strip. I'm going to detach. Now I've done that and now I am going to move my score lines down out of the way. I'm not going to get rid of them because I'm going to bring them back when I'm done. But for now I need them out of the way. Now I'm going to bring my square box back over. <clears throat> I'm going to place it there. And what I'm going to do is slice the house off. Wait a second. Forgot to duplicate my square. Now I'm going to slice. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. So I've got that sliced. 
Now I want to slice the leaf off. Slice. Now I need to slice off the little birdie. Oh. Deleted that and didn't mean to. Okay. Put him there and slice him off. And slice. Okay, now I'm going to bring my rectangle back over. I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to size this to fit the square that's there or the little stub that Pooh Bear is going to go on is what I'm doing. But I don't need it that big. There we go. Now, I've got it right in the position that I want it in. So what I'm going to do is select all of these and I'm going to weld. I'm going to weld those together. Sorry about that. Now, I need to do the same thing now for my middle section where my tigger is going to go. And that looks good. So I created a little rectangle there and put it on my middle section. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to weld. Now I need just a teeny little piece here for my piglet section. So I'm going to bring this down into place. Try to make it the same size there. And I have, so I'm going to select all and weld. Now you can see I've got it all welded together and it looks fine. It, that looks good to me. Now what I'm going to do okay now I'm going to pull my poo over. I'm going to work with my poo and you see once I selected poo over here in the layers tab it went straight to my poo uh, image and what I'm going to do is choose my poo here and I'm going to ungroup him for a minute and what I'm wanting is this very back gray layer. Now I'm going to try to get my poo image put back together here the right way for a second. There we go. And I'm going to select all of him and group him back now. So I've done that. And I've got my gray layer of my poo to the size that I want. And now I'm going to put him, this gray layer, right here into my green square that I made for my insert piece. I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to weld. So now I know exactly where my poo is going to go once it's cut out and where he's going to be placed. Now I'm going to do the same thing with Tigger. I'm going to ungroup Tigger and I want my gray layer. I'm going to pull my gray layer down. Let me get my tigger here put back together. I want to group him back together. Well, I didn't get him grouped. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. I'm 
Okay, now I'm going to take my gray Tigger head, bring him down here to my center one. I've got him centered on there the way that I want him. I'm going to select all and weld. Now I want to do piglet. I'm going to ungroup my piglet, find my gray layer, there's my gray layer, put my piglet back together. And there's where I want my piglet to be. So select all and weld again. So now I've got it all set up the way that I want. Now yeah, I'm going to cut this out and I'll change the colors. Obviously these aren't the colors that I'm going to be using in my card. But let me get it all cut out and get ready to put it together and I'll come right back. I wanted to show everybody how I do the little pieces for my die cut images and I have my Xyron Creative Station here and I've put loaded in all my little pieces for my Tigger head and I'm going to roll this through and now you can see that I have all of these little pieces now all with adhesive on the back and it'll make it very easy for me to put them down and put them in place. So give me just a moment and I'll be right back and show you how I put the card together. Real quick too, I did the little small parts for the Tigger, but when they're really small like it's going to be for my Piglet, I'm afraid they'll get lost in my Xyron sticker uh, maker because I have the big one, I don't have the little one. I probably should get the little one, but what I do is kind of peel back this film on here just very easily. Now I'm going to put all of my little piglet parts in here. I'm just going to place them on there kind of carefully. And that one right there is real teeny. Now I'm going to very carefully lay my film back down there we go <clears throat> got it laid back down but you can you can't tell on the camera I'm sure and I apologize it's in the uh, early afternoon at early evening actually here so my lighting's kind of poor and I have this cool little Pampered Chef uh, pie crust roller <laughs> that I don't use for it because I buy those pre-made pie crusts so I don't need to do this. I love to cook and I have all the cooking gadgets but I bought this and realized that it worked better with my crafts than, and I never used it with my cooking. So that's what I use it for. And it will work very well. And doing this and rolling over that after I did that and I made this sticker for my Tigger that you saw me do a moment ago on purpose. I made it bigger on purpose so that I could do this. Now I got it all rolled down and they're all going to be sticky. I didn't have to worry about losing my teeny little parts and um, don't have to worry about having to pick those up with my tweezers and getting all the glue on there and maybe it being bad, looking bad because I'm, uh, I'm heavy handed with the glue. So now I'm able to do that. Now, 
Just real quickly, I wanted to share something else with you. I'm not for sure if this is a Williams Sonoma product or a Pampered Chef, I can't recall. But these are the herb scissors. Can you see how they're done? I know that there is a craft scissor out there that's for cutting shreds and shards or, or to make grass. Well, I have a wonderful little herb chopper that I use when I cook and didn't really use my scissors at all for that. So I brought my scissors in to use into my crafts as well and I love them in my crafts. Let me just bring in a uh, piece of scratch paper here and I'll show you what it does. It's incredible. See that? Isn't it cool? And they're evenly spaced and they're perfect. So, like I said, I don't remember if these are from Williams Sonoma or if they're Pampered Chef, but either way, they're awesome scissors and they're great to use in your crafts. So, give me just a second and I'll ship. We'll come back to our box to do more. Okay, I'm putting my box card insert together, and I've already done my Tigger because I put him down because he'll be going in the opposite direction of the other two. And now I am going to adhere my poo down. He'll line up like so. Get my piglet out of the way. I put stick uh, stickles on piglet's nose, pink stickles, so it would pop out and stand out a little bit. And I'm kind of waiting on him to dry. It's he's still wet, so we'll uh, do that. Even though it's wet, and hopefully he'll be a little more dry. He'll be the last thing that we put down. And then on my honey pot that I'm going to put on the bottom of my card. I did it with gold um, liquid pearls to make the honey stand out. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but once it dries, and it's almost dry, and I think that'll look really cute too. So let me go ahead and get poo put down. And then we're going to wait on Piglet for a moment. Let him dry a little better. My poo lined up here. Didn't he come out so cute? I love my poo. <laughs> Let me get this back out of the way here for a minute. So you can see here for a second. There's going to be poo. There's the tigger. And then we're going to fold. It'll fold over like so. And that'll be Piglet that'll be in there. And that'll be really cute, I think. Now, I've already started the box portion of my card and got it laid down and everything. And now I'm going to fold these up. And I've got my grass cut out here, my little grass pieces. And this is the front of my box card, so I want to put it down like so. And I'm going to, what I want it to happen is these leaves to fold over that are sticking out. So I'm going to just give them a little fold with my fingers here so we can make that happen. And that way I'll know how to do that a little better. And I'm going to flip that over and put some glue on there. Find my glue pen. My two-way glue pen. This is the Martha Stewart brand, but I think it's still Zig, but I don't know. I just assumed that it was. Let me get that open. 
see if it'll open. Oh goodness. Sorry, give me just a second. Okay, finally, I <laughs> got that. So let me get some glue down here real fast. Fold that down for a second. Then I like to come in with my bone folder and just press it all into place, burnish it all into place really well. Flip it because that's where the crease will be. Let's do that. Make sure it's down very well. Let's see how I'm going to like that. Yes, I like that too. So let me get that one down. There we go, kind of overlaps, but I like that because that's the way it looks in nature. Then those pieces will kind of come over into the back section as well. And there we go. Now let me get this one down. I'm sorry, you probably heard my puppy dogs whine in there for a second. I have a couple little fat pugs and a little chihuahua. And somebody opened the door, so they needed to decide to go crazy because that's what they do. Once this all dries, it won't pop out like so. Oh, it sounds like my pug boys have come to see me. You hear their little paws hitting the hardwood floor? That's, they're little rascals. Just using a baby wipe here to clean up my surface because of all that wet glue I had down there. Baby wipes are my best friend. I'm sure they're your best friend too. Sorry about that. Here, I'm going to pause for just a second to get my dogs under control. 
Okay, sorry about the puppy dog delay, but we gotta love our puppies. What I'm doing here is putting some glue dots on the back of my little bumblebee. And I could not find my wire, my floral wire, because I typically keep that. So what I'm using here is a paper clip that I have taken and and pulled apart and kind of twisted and this is so that my little bumblebee can stand off the top and I have attached it at this point with some glue dots but now I'm going to use my score tape to make it just a little more sturdy there as well I'm going to cut off a little piece of that and lay over the top and I'm not even going to take the backing of the score tape off. There's no need to because I don't want it to stick to anything. It's just there to add some extra support. And there's my little bumblebee that's going to go. I'm going to put him right up here. Oh, I didn't realize I was zoomed in so bad. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Oh, I'm out too far already, I see. Okay, this <laughs> is sorry about that. Still learning my camera. What I'm going to do is lift this corner up a little bit here to put that in there. And I'm going to use some more glue dots as well to do that. To be so tiny, they're pretty powerful. And I like that right there. So that works for me. looks good I think I think it looks not too shabby not too shabby at all and so there we go now what we're going to do now is I'm going to add my insert in here. As you can see, I have all the grass down on the bottom with my flaps coming out. And the insert is going to go in here like so. You can see I've already folded it to put it in. We'll see how that's going to work. I like that very much. Let me check on Pooh's nose, or Pooh, Piglet's nose here. And it's not too bad. I think I'm going to go ahead and put him on here. He may get a little messed up, his nose, but if it does, I can fix it. And what I'm going to do is just use my glue, or my ATG uh, tape gun here, and put down some adhesive. to my piglet outline and go from there and then these little pieces I'm just going to use my two-way glue pen here to get all those little pieces down as well there we go I'm trying to line up my piglet there we go 
Unfortunately, I can't cut his, touch his cute little nose because it's still wet. Okay, while well, holding this side up, because I know that I need to put some adhesive right here on this section, because that's this, this section here is going to stick on the side of my box as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that one side. And then I need to do all of this side too. So there we go. Got that down. Let me bring my box back in here for a sec. And we'll get this going. Because, you know, it's an accordion fold, basically, is what we're looking at to put the center in. bring my front, front portion, which is my piglet at this point, even with the top of the front. Let me get my poo lined up here. So he's back there. And then get my ticker centered. That's not too bad. And see how it all cascades and looks really cute. And the bee coming from the top being upset because Pooh's got his honey pot. And then this honey pot here. Let me see. I'm going to kind of touch my liquid pearls and see if those are dry. Yes, it's basically dry. It needs, it's not completely dry. It needs a little bit. And I'm just going to take some foam tape here and put on the back. I'm going to pop it up a little bit, give it a little more dimension. There we go. Take the backing off my foam tape. I'm going to raise the front of this up because I'm going to put my honey pot right here, right on the front. So I added several elements to my box card this time. All the way around, it gives it much more interest and it makes it super cute, I think. So when it has folded flat to put in its envelope or to mail and I'm going to keep that one down for a second because of Piglet's nose. It just looks super cute and super darling and if Piglet's nose would dry that would be all up and you'd automatically see the honey pot as well. Isn't it cute? So I'm going to take some pictures and see what you guys think. I hope you like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, please uh, let me know or tell me what you'd like to see. Thanks and happy crafting.